Ahaba and blessings. Let's work with binaural beats. Binaural beats are wonderful to, for many of the reasons that sound healing is fantastic. They increase cognition, they improve your memory, they aid in stress, relieving stress, they support the body in many ways. They harmonize the right and left hemisphere of hemispheres of the brain, as well as the inner masculine and feminine. And they also work to harmonize the inner and the outer, the body and the soul. So it's very powerful to work with binaural beats, just as it is to work with sound. So I have several binaurals. We have a binaural at the F, which is the heart chakra. from our physical and energetic lineage. However, there are also a lot of karmas, traumas, limiting beliefs, a lot of patterns that repeat in families. I'm sure that you can think of at least one or two patterns that just seem to be on a loop in your family. And sometimes that can make us scared to go down certain rabbit holes or certain paths because we have been trained that, well, if we do X, Y happens. Why does Y happen? Because it's happened to our aunt, to our mother, to our father, to our great grandparents. And we carry these patterns, these constructs in our DNA, in our physical body, in our energy body, in our spiritual and mental and emotional bodies. So sound is a powerful way to start dissolving and transmuting this energy. Remember, energy doesn't, energy doesn't die. Um, energy doesn't like just go somewhere off. Energy is transmuted. So when we actively and consciously take on the effort to do mantras, to do certain movement practices, to engage in meditation, engage in therapy, to go for walks in nature. However it is that we choose to process our stuff, all of that works in conjunction, in tandem to support us in, cliche, yes, in living our best life, in really putting your your full and authentic self, your soul essence here, like embodying it and expressing it through your voice. So one of the first practices we're going to do is about clearing the heart chakra. We also hold traumas in our heart. So fingers are gonna be splayed. We're gonna go in and out, forward and backwards. And we're basically brushing out our energy center of the heart. So this is great for clearing anything that has to do with grief, with loss, with heartache, heartbreak, anything that has to do also receptivity because the heart is where we receive. The heart is one of the largest electromagnetic um, 
holds the largest electromagnetic frequency. So we all are surrounded by a toroidal field of energy and the heart is the one that is the largest of all of our energy centers. So we're going to do the heart chakra, the arc of the Madonna. This is a beautiful practice to clear our heart and to allow ourselves to let go of what we don't need to be carrying anymore. And then we're going to be clearing the womb space. Now the womb space, men also do have a womb space. It is simply energetic. Women, because we hold the physical ability to birth beings from the unseen into the seen, from the other realm into this physical realm, we hold the power of creation on a more heightened level because of that. So we are going to do this mudra, which is a hand posture. It's going to be in a the symbol of a, a triangle with our hands facing down from the heart down to the womb. And at the womb, we splay our fingers and open our hands. So it's this movement. And it works to clear any trauma from the womb space, any, um, any lingering stuff. Also, the energy of past lovers. We as women, we hold on to energy. We receive energy through the act of women when we engage in relations. We receive energy. We open ourselves to receive. This is the feminine. We receive the energy. So if someone is not doing their work, if someone holds traumas, karmas, limiting beliefs, lower frequencies, someone can have entity attachments or whatnot. Um, and we're unaware of the fact that there is a sacred energy exchange. That is when we can take on their stuff and their karmas and their limiting beliefs and their traumas. And we take it on and it becomes a part of us. And then it starts hindering us from expanding, from living from a full and authentic place, from expressing our joy and our truth and really embodying our soul. And again, this is not to blame or shame. It's simply to educate and to make us aware that every energy exchange is a choice and we need to begin to make that choice mindfully. Is this action, whether it is a sacred energy exchange or whether it is a conversation or whether it is commenting to something on social media, do we want to engage and, and lower our frequency to that point in that situation, is that really what is in our best interest? Is that really in what is harmonic, in resonance with the frequency that we wish to embody? And that is very important for us to keep in mind. So this clears the womb energy. It allows us to start transmuting and alchemizing those that stuff we may be holding on to in our womb space so it's this mudra a triangle fingers together goes down from the heart center to the womb and then as it goes down to the womb we open our hands and splay our fingers it's a very simple movement and it works to clear our energy center our sacred our sacred space for creation so let's do that for a couple of minutes. So let's start with the heart clearing. Just gonna do this for about a minute and change. Long deep breathing. This also works to activate your heart chakra. So it makes it bright and open and allows you to receive as well as clear. A little bit longer. Okay, shake out. 
your hands, you're going to begin to feel a lot of energy and that's what we want. So, now we're going to clear the womb. How interesting. I'm feeling a tickle in my nose. Allow the energy to flow through you, clearing what needs to be cleared. Shake out your hands and just take a deep inhale into your heart, into your womb space. And exhale. Now let's get into the sound healing portion. All you need to do is open yourself, just be in a comfortable seated or lying down position. Just open yourself to receive the few minutes of the clearing at these different energy points. You can have your hands over your heart or your right hand over your heart, your left over your womb if you are in a feminine embodiment. It is the opposite if you are in a masculine embodiment. It would be your left hand over your heart, your right over your hara, your sacral. Let's get started. Long deep breathing, closing our eyes, starting with the heart.
onto the third eye and the crown. sure you ground drink plenty of water this definitely even just a few minutes just elevated me to another space and I'm sure you're feeling the same thing so let me know how you felt this check out my crystalline sound alchemy course that is launching that is launched um, we are in the early bird special registration phase so tune in and check out that course. There's, I will go over how to work with these crystal alchemy bowls, as well as incorporating different mantras, mudras, meditations, movement, and sacred words in Aramaic to allow us to activate our, our tree of life template, pretty much, our energy template, clearing out what needs to be cleared out, anchoring the infinite light and embodying and activating the infinite light of our soul. So if you enjoyed this, like this, share, subscribe, and comment below if that helps people see this video. Have a blessed rest of your day. Ahava. Many blessings. And if you have any questions, if anything came up, also let me know below.